What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy George with Vegas Must Try, and today I'm going to show you the neighborhood that I grew up in, and that is the east side of Las Vegas. It's a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood that has amazing people, great food, but does not get featured as much by other creators. So today we're going to change that, and you're coming with me. Let's go. All right, guys, and for the first place up, we're right here at the Broad Acres Market. This is located on the northeast part of Las Vegas, and this place is essentially what you would call a swap meet or a flea market, but it goes beyond that. It's basically a place for entertainment. You have food, you have vendors. You can basically buy anything here. So let's head inside. So the Broad Acres Market is open Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, basically all day, Saturday and Sunday. And the price to come in, it goes between two or three dollars. That's it, to come in, pretty cheap. And there are a ton of things to do here. If you like to shop around, if you like to you know, get some good deals, if you like to eat, if you like the entertainment. All right, so I'm joined here by my buddy, Isaac. He resells and stuff like that on the side. And he knows a lot about shoes. So he's telling me which ones are, are the ones that sell properly. Athletic gear. That's 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 where I reign on eBay right now. Athletic gear, all right. Items right now. <laughs> so one of the big reasons why the Broad Acres Market is so popular is because of the live music. Right behind me, they are doing the sound check right now, and this place is awesome. There's a lot of people dancing all the time. The environment here gets pretty crazy, and it's cool that you can enjoy live music for only two or three dollars. When they have bigger bands, they do charge an admission of like twenty or thirty-five dollars depending on the band. And it looks like Isaac. Just bought a ton of shoes. Oh, he's done messed up. <laughs> Seven pairs of shoes for 80 bucks. And how much money realistically do you can make off of that? Easy, I could probably do probably 240. I asked him, I was like, are you gonna spend any money? And he's like, nah, not today, dude. And look at him. It's like basically the first store that he went into. You know you want these. Look at that. This is dope. How much do you think this is worth? 60. I, I think I would pay like uh like 25 bucks for that. Quanto? 60? You're right. <laughs> Isaac's too good at this. This is where all the cholos get their wardrobes. All right, so I guess you can ride ponies here at the Broad Acres Market. I didn't know that. Look at them go. I never rode a pony when I was little. I'm a little too big for a pony now. All right, so these stalls right here, sometimes they do like fire sales and they say anything that you can find is for a dollar, two dollars, something like that. I'm assuming returns from Amazon. There's like kids toys, MSA Pro sound amplifier, some a lot of random stuff here. Look at that, we have a collection here of Swiffer mops. Some fresh cut mandarins. Real estate firm here, they have a booth. They have the houses listed right here. So right behind me is probably the most exciting part of the Broad Acres, in my opinion, where you can find a ton of food here. You can find ice cream, churros, a sit down restaurant, anything that you can imagine is right behind me. Let's go check it out. So as you can see, there are some places like actual restaurants here. They have booths, uh, mariscos here, comida sinaloense. You have some dessert sections. Look at this, tacos Tijuana, basically like tacos al pastor. Tacos de canasta, huh? They have chilaquiles, burritos mojados, omelet, huevos con chorizo. So not just Mexican food, there's also a pupuseria, which is Salvadorian food. So we have some mariscos here, AKA seafood, aguachiles. Found uh, some subscribers here. We got Ben and Francesca here. New transplants from California. Nah, I'm just kidding, nah, <laughs> we love them. Oof, look at that. Look at that, it's garnished with some lollipops too. Let's go. They're hard to eat too, it's like, <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, so now I'm standing at one of the most popular stalls here, and that is the machete stall, where you can get some huaraches or pambazos. Uh, it's basically like a giant quesadilla, and uh, right now, let's get it. They have this giant comal right here, where they make them. They give you this little ticket, and then you wait like everyone else. You get cantaritos here. The boy here, what'd you get here, a rusa? It has grapefruit soda, mineral water, salt, taquin, lime, Oh man, it's so good. You know what would sound good with that? Some tequila. Yeah. Make it a paloma. <laughs> so this is my horchata drink. This was $9 because I paid with a credit card. Otherwise it would have been eight. And this is uh, La Rusa. This is 
Isaac's drink. Check this out. Multi-level, multi-color with a bunch of tahini on top. We just got settled here at one of the other stalls. This is called La Botana. They serve like carnitas, pork, all this stuff. But here are my machetes here. This was $15, which is quite expensive. But if you think about it, it's only one. So it's like a whole giant quesadilla. One of them is pastor and the other one is birre. It actually does look like a machete. It looks like a, like a, like a pirate sword or something. This is solid. It's weird. I've never seen a tortilla like that anywhere else. Like a long one? Yeah. You can't buy them. Tortilla is nice and fluffy. El pastor is fire. And they all come with cheese, obviously. So it's basically like a long, weirdly shaped quesadilla. Oh, yeah. Now I want to try that birria. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. I think that birria one might be better. It's girthier, too. It's heavier. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, Jesus. And this is the plate that we got here. This is a botana de carnitas. This is basically carnitas chopped up. So it's basically pork. And you can get some salsas here. They give it to you with some tortillas. This was $9. I actually think it's really cheap because you can make like, I don't know, maybe like three tacos for that. So it's a, it's a pretty good deal. And it's homemade, obviously. Some carnitas, I'm gonna make myself a, a taco. It's like more like tomato-based salsa. There we go, here we go. It's good. They're so good. Come here, buy some to go. Get like three pounds. Yeah, just eat yeah, at home. Totally yeah, that's sick. I didn't even know this existed. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I don't like it. You don't like it? I just thought it was going to be sweet. Maybe that's why. It's a little bitter. Of the... I love it. Bro, it has a lot of like chili. I love it. <laughs> like my eyes are like twitching and stuff. Let's go back to horchata. There you go. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Watch out, don't let that slide. Are you sure you don't want to buy? I've been looking for a scale for a while. The one that I was going to buy was like 25 bucks. Got one for five. Another cool thing about the Broad Acres Market is that they have rides here. As you can see, they have uh, some of these like chairs, like the teacups. They have a carousel. They have a pirate thing over there. So pretty cool. It gives you a nice like environment. It feels kind of like a fair here or some sort. They even have bumper cars here. So there's a band finally playing here at the Broad Acres. And as you can see, there's quite a few people here sitting down, just like drinking a beer, hanging out. The weather is beautiful. And uh, there's not a whole lot of people in the dance floor area. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice setup here. Honestly, like paying three bucks to come here, have a beer and hang out with people. Not a bad deal. All wrapped up here at Broad Acres. Now let's go check out what else there is to eat on the east side. Check this out, y'all. This is my old high school. El Dorado High School here on the east side. Up next, we're right here getting some tacos. And they're not just any tacos. They are some of the best tacos I have ever had in my life. And I'm located here on Sahara and Sloan. These are tacos al carbon. I'm telling you, my man Elias makes the best tacos imaginable. He's the one that showed me how to make the tacos when I had a food truck. And I can never make them as good as him. Let's get it. The process is you choose your meat. Every taco has cheese, beans, and you have the pico de gallo and avocado. Look, check this out. Every taco that he makes comes with that. Obviously, you can modify them. Double tortilla. I'm telling you, these tacos are unreal. All right, we got our tacos. We got one asada and one lengua. As you can see, these tacos are fat AF. Got them with sour cream. They all come with cheese. No modifications, just get everything they have. We got two quesadillas here. You can get two salsas here, red, green salsa, but let's just go, let's just go in straight. Check this out. Hell yeah. These tacos are the epitome of street food. Absolutely. So Elias here actually worked at this place called La Taqueria in San Francisco. That's where you learn how to make this style of tacos, the double tortilla with the cheese. Honestly, I could probably eat like three of them and I'd be really full at two. That's uh, that's my sweet spot. The weather is perfect too. The full experience right here. You're eating some tacos from a food truck right here. Really good tacos. You have to pair it up with the Mexican Coke. Just the rule of the land here. Something else I love about the tacos is that the fried tortilla on the outside gives it a nice crunch. So because the beef tongue is itself like we're super tender, it gives it a good balance, right? You get the nice flavorful tender and also a nice bite because of the fried tortilla on the outside. And obviously every taco here comes with avocado. They push out tacos here, I'm telling you, nonstop. Ever since I got here, a ton of people come by. 
Tacos are a little up there in price, but they're so worth it. They're big, fatty tacos, great ingredients, great taste. So these are the cross streets. It's a very neighborhood location where they're at. But I'm telling you, if you make your way up here all the way up in Sahara, you're not gonna be disappointed. These tacos are the real deal. All right, guys, up next, I wanted to point something out, and that is that the east side in general has a lower restaurant per capita than any other place uh, that I've been to here in Las Vegas. Before we go into this next spot, I want to mention three and shout them out. Obviously, you guys know Lindo Michoacan on Desert Inn, the OG Lindo. That place is like traditional Mexican food, very good drinks. Also, Tacos El Gordo on Charleston. You guys know Tacos El Gordo. We feature them here on YouTube quite a few times. There's also another place called Casa Tlaquepaque. This place doesn't get as much love. It's located on the East Bonanza. They have Really good margaritas, good food there from Jalisco. But the restaurant that we are visiting today is Birria El Compa. This is their second location and it's located on East Charleston. So obviously by the name of this restaurant alone, you can figure out that they sell birria here and they sell two types of birria. They sell goat birria, which is chivo, and they also sell beef, which is res. They have other items here as well. You can find menudo, you can get tortas ahogadas, and even get some beef tongue here. This place might be a little intimidating for anyone that doesn't speak Spanish because as soon as you walk in, I'm telling you, everyone here is Mexican, but that's how you know the food is good. So complimentary with every order, you do get some chips, a salsa, and some beans right here. Obviously the onions and cilantro with the lime. This little bean dip right here is so delicious. This I could probably eat forever. They're a little spicy. Mm. Those are so delicious. When you come to Villarreal Real Compa, you have to get some of their strawberry horchata right here. Check this out. It kind of tastes like those like strawberry, like fresas con crema paletas that you would get. All right, I just got my food and I got three tacos. One of them is a queso taco. That means it has cheese in it and the other ones are by themselves. These are going to be tacos dorados, so they're going to be crunchy on the outside. If you order three tacos or more, you get consomme on the side, which is a, a pretty good portion of it or else I think you have to buy it. As you can see, they give the onions and cilantro to you on the side so that you can add it yourself. So you can get the old spoon here. You know what? Let's go hands. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. I don't know if birria gets better than this. Super, super tender. The consomme has a nice authentic spicy flavor. The spice doesn't overpower. It's just like perfect. But oh my God. Beautiful, beautiful taste. I'm sure this is how birria was intended to be made. It's like made to perfection. Oh, by the way, I did get all of my tacos. Goat meat. Goat meat to me is a little bit better than fres. I think it's like juicier or more flavorful. Oh boy. We're gonna open the queso taco. Look at that cheese. Oh my God. And then we're gonna add some of the beans inside. Obviously onions and cilantro. Go in with some lime. This salsa right here, it's kind of like a molcajete salsa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and then once we're done with this bad boy, we're gonna dip it. Look at that. Oh my god, oh my. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, it went for a swim. That has to be the best bite of 2024 thus far. Absolutely unreal. That is so delicious. Now we have some live music here. Some guys are playing the guitar and singing. This birria might very well be my favorite birria in all of Las Vegas. It's between this and Birria de Mas. It's a food truck that's located actually right across the street from Broadacres Market. And you should definitely check them out, give them a follow. And also there's two locations for Birria Compa, so check them out as well. So there you guys have it. a quick look here into the east side. There's not that many restaurants per capita here on the east side that aren't like Wingstop and McDonald's and those types of places. But the Restaurants that we do have are absolute bangers like Birria El Compa, Lindo Michoacan, all that stuff. But the ones in this video, I definitely recommend you're going to have a great time. If you're still watching, do me a favor and please give this video a like. Also, comment down below for the algorithm and let me know what you want to watch next. Peace out.